Hello everyone. Welcome back to my new Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn about runtime polymorphism in Java. So let's first see what is polymorphism. Polymorphism in Java is a concept by which we can perform a single action in different ways. Polymorphism is derived from two Greek words, poly and morphs. The word poly means many, and morphs means forms, so polymorphism means many forms. There are two types of polymorphism in Java. Compile time polymorphism and runtime polymorphism. We can perform polymorphism in Java by method overloading and method overwriting. Now let's see, what is runtime polymorphism in Java? Runtime polymorphism, or dynamic method dispatch, is a process in which a call to an overridden method is resolved at runtime, rather than compiled time. In this process, an overridden method is called through the reference variable of a superclass. The determination of the method to be called is based on the object being referred to by the reference variable. Now, let's first understand the upcasting before runtime polymorphism. If the reference variable of parent class refers to the object of child class, it is known as upcasting. Here's a simple example of upcasting. Now, let's see an example of Java runtime polymorphism. So first open the notepad. Now create a parent class. Here we are taking the name, bike. Now create the method, void run. Now type the statement, system.out.println, for printing. We will print the message, running. Now, let's create another class, and name it Splendor. This class extends the parent class. Now, take one more method here, same as we used in parent class, that is void run. Now type the statement, system.out.println, and provide the message, running safely with 60 kilometers. Now it's time to create our main method, public, static, void, main, string args. Here, we'll use parent class reference to hold child class, so we'll take bike b equals to new splendor. And we'll use parent class reference to invoke the method, so just type b.run. We also call it as upcasting. Now save the program. Save it with the class name, that is, splendor.java. Now to run this program, open cmd. Here, type the command java c, space, splendor.java. As you can see, the program is compiled successfully. Now to run the program, type java, followed by the class name. As expected, the output, running safely with 60 kilometers, is generated successfully. That's all for the example of Java runtime polymorphism. Now, Let's see an example of Java runtime polymorphism with data members. So, for the example, first open the notepad. Now create a parent class. Here we are taking the name bike. 
Now take a variable. Here we'll take int speed limit and provide it a value. Let's say 90. Now take another class and name it Honda 3. This class extends the parent class. Now take another variable, which is same as the above, but here provide a different value. Let's say 150. Now type the main method that is public static void main string args. Now we'll use parent class reference to hold the child class attributes that is bike obj equals to new Honda 3. Now print the variable values for that type the statement system.out.println and just invoke obj.variable which is speed limit. Now it's time to save this program. Save it with the class name that is Honda3.java. Now to run this program, open CMD. Type the command Java C space Honda3.java. As you can see, the program is compiled successfully. Now, to run the program, type Java followed by the class name. As expected, the output is generated successfully. That's all for the example of Java Runtime Polymorphism with data members. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.